most people when they have steaks, they basically, you know, come outside of their home and grill out on one of these things. But that's not how I'm going to make my steaks today. No. Some of my viewing audience, so to speak, been asking me, when is it I'm going to make another video using my new wave oven? Well, that's what today's video is about. I made some steaks for some friends of ours a couple years ago. And I used my new wave oven. They told me their steaks was just as good, if not better, than going to an expensive steakhouse. I'm not that good of a cook, no. It's just a new wave oven is that damn good. So give me a little bit and I'll fire this up and we will prepare for the steaks. There's my one inch steak, guys. And I'm gonna tell you now where I got this at was the next town over and this thing's actually cheaper than what it would be at Walmart. So I'm gonna pound it out. <laughs> And the new wave oven, it's going to take about eight minutes on each side. And the beauty about this is, let's say this was frozen, it still works just the same. It doesn't matter if it's frozen or thawed out. New wave oven still cooks the same. So I'm going to go ahead and pound this out and ah, I'll be back. Okay, time for my steak. My wife done got hers cooked. Mine's going to take up the whole screen. This will approximately be about eight minutes on each side. Once I get done with each side, then I'm going to put my secret sauce on it. That's right. My secret sauce. See, you know what that is? <laughs> well, I better not show the name. It's A1 sauce. Did I show the name? No, I didn't. Yeah. And then I have more A1 sauce when I eat it. See, that's all I, have. That's all I do, guys. You know, I cook it just about until it's almost done. Then I put A1 sauce on it. And then I cook it again. Then put a little bit more A1 sauce on it before I eat it. That's all it needs. All right, guys, the first side is done. And my lovely wife is gonna flip it. I should be cooking this, but she's helping me out. And we'll cook the other side for eight minutes. Then I put A1 sauce on one side, cook it for another minute. Flip it over, do the same thing, then check it with the uh, Thermometer, make sure it's up to heat and safe to eat. I like my steak well done. Don't know about you guys. And yeah, now I'm going to serve this up with french fries today. Uh, I know a lot of people like french fries with your steak. Hey, it's good. It's good. It ain't often I get to eat steak. As a matter of fact, the last time my wife and I had steak was about two years ago. In fact, see you guys on the flip. All right, guys, let me turn this fan off so you can hear me better. Well, I put the A1 sauce. I'm going to cook it for a minute, then flip it, put more A1 sauce on it, and cook it for another minute. All right, the beeper went off. Time to put more 1A1 sauce on. Okay, it's time to check the temperature, and I goofed up on one of my clips. Guys, the new wave oven, whoever makes new wave oven, do not pay me to make videos like this. They do not sponsor me. I'm not a sponsor. But if they want to sponsor me, I'll do more videos with the new wave oven. I'm just very proud and happy on how it cooks food. There's nothing wrong with the grill outside. Not a damn thing wrong with that. If you want to prefer if you prefer to cook your food on that, that's cool. But in all honesty, it's just as good this way as it is outside now. And just gonna check the temperature. I don't know if it needs to go up any higher or not. Steak is done. Now I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. And then we will end this video. Guys, I almost forgot the end results. I started cutting my steak up. But there it is, guys. Done on the new wave oven. And I guarantee it's going to taste just like it was done on the grill, if not better than what is done on the grill. So there you go, guys. There you go. New Wave Oven made my supper tonight, and I'm having steak and fries. Yummy! We'll see you tomorrow.